What's up guys, Evil Deer here, and I'm back for some more Esperanto slash World of Warcraft lessons. Now you've probably remarked that I'm currently dead. Now what happened is I was filming my lesson as always, and suddenly the game just decided, you know what, I want to turn off this computer, and my computer just turned off, and then naturally some random mob, some random Estulod decided to kill me. But that's okay, we're back, I felt like refilming again anyway. So, I'm just going to resurrect myself, I'm going to quickly heal myself up, and then we're going to begin... Again, with that random little lesson. Now, first up, I just want to say massive thank you to you guys out there. Um, because you guys have been sharing the crap out of my videos, and I, I can't give you enough love. Like, I will individually love all of you for this. No, joking, joking. That's pretty, that's bad. Okay, so, what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to start with some revision. So, whoop. Uh, sorry, I'm just confused the hell out of myself with all my spells. I don't know what happened there. I'm just going to let this guy bash me for a bit. So yeah, we're going to start with some revision. Now, first up, what is the word for rifle? We learnt this on the, in the previous lesson. Well, we kind of tapped on it. Well, not tapped on it, but yeah, anyway, what is the word for rifle? Just tell me. It is fusilo, and I'm getting attacked like all hell right now. It is fusilo. And what was the word for apple? I mentioned this one once in the last lesson. Let's see if you're paying attention. It is pomo. And what was the word for... Uh, thorn. It was Dordano. I don't know what I'm meant to do here. Like, eh, I don't know what I'm meant to do. Am I meant to just kill people? One second, I just gotta check my quests. Sharing the land. Yeah, I just gotta kill people. It's all good. Okay, so, um, yeah. What was the way to say what is that thing? God, I'm getting distracted a lot. It was Kio Estas Tio. And what was the way to say what is that? person it was kio estas tiu remember tiu we reserve in this type of sentence when referring to a person rather than an animal or a, just a generic object okay so what was the way to say he it was li and what was the way to say she it was she now let's begin with our actual lesson shall we okay so first up we're going to learn how to say the word the and the reason being is because the is such a crucial component of Esperanto. It's like in nearly every sentence. So the way to say the in Esperanto is la. La. Now it's not like German or French where there's like a million different forms of the. It's just la for every single way that you would use it. And the in Esperanto is like in 95% of occurrences used exactly like English. There is a few spots where it's different, but we don't care about those right now. And you won't care them for a long time, trust me. Okay, so what are we doing? We've got to find some more dudes around here. Uh, ah, there's one. I'll get him. <laughs> okay, the next one we're going to learn is Chu. Now, Chu means, is it true that? Okay, that's like the extended meaning, but it's basically an equivalent to is, are, are or do in English. So when you've got a sentence and you want to say, um, do you want to go to the beach? You're, you're expecting a yes or no response. So in English we use do. Or if you want to say are you happy? You're again expecting a yes or no response. But you're using are. In English we use all these different random words. But in Esperanto we have one word for asking a yes or no question. And that word is chu. And it's spelled C with a little hat above it and U. So chu. And now I'm just going to check. Is there any other guys around here I can kill? Awesome. Okay, so... How would we say then, I just want to see if you guys can pick this one straight up, how would you say, is that a mob? I'll give you a second. Chu tio estas estulo. So if you got that, you're friggin' awesome. So the word for vulture in Esperanto is vulturo. Vulturo. Now, someone remarked in one of the YouTube comments earlier that they'd like to learn more everyday type of Esperanto words rather than like these in-game words for like things that they won't learn, like need in real life. Um, the reason I'm like teaching you these random words that you probably won't use ever in a real Esperanto conversation, or maybe rarely, uh, is because that's what we have around us. This is the world we exist in right now. So in order to teach you the language, I need to teach you what actually exists. So. Um, we're going to learn now how to say animal, and the word for animal is besto, besto. So how would we say, is that an animal? Chu tio estas besto. So basically the way to say, is that thing blah 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 blah, is just chu tio estas, okay? Now obviously you're going to want to respond with a yes or no 
um, enter. So the word for yes in Esperanto is yes. Yes. Pretty easy. Pretty easy. And it's spelled with a um, J for, uh, so it's spelled J-E-S. Now, the reason being is because in Esperanto, J has a Y sound, which is pretty in line with most European languages. English is the weird one in this sense. So, and the way to say no in Esperanto is ne, and it's just spelled N-E. Now, I'm just going to hand in these quests quickly. I'll probably just cut it until we're running to the next area. Okay, so I've taught you that thing. Now I'm going to teach you how to say this thing. So the word for that, as we know, is tio. Okay, and let's just, um, let's see if I can point something out here. Okay, so that that thing is a pine tree, okay? So the way to say that is tio estas pino. Now, in Esperanto, when you want to say this thing, you actually have a secondary word that you put either before or after tio. And that word is chi, and it basically just means here. So the way to say this is chi tio. Or you could say T or Chi, and you're probably like, what? There's two ways of saying this? It's not two different ways, it's just the placement of the word here. Now, I'm just going to kill this little random thingy. Okay, so yeah, you can say Chi Tio or T or Chi. Now, it's basically totally up to you, whichever one you choose. However, I will give you a little bit of heads up on the convention. Now, when Esperanto was first created, um, Zamenhof, who created the language, he kind of like more intended to use uh, Ti or Chi based on my own personal observation. I may be completely wrong in that, but most people in the early days seem to use uh, Ti or Chi. However, nowadays most people seem to use Chi Ti or, and that's probably just because it's just easier to pronounce. Uh, that's the only real reason I can think of. Um, so yeah, you can basically choose whichever one. So how would you say that is that thing a um, playing strider? Chu tio estas campus truto. And how would you say, yes, that thing is a plane strider? Yes, tio estas campus truto. So it's basically the same as English in that sense, like the word order and all that. So how would you say, is this thing a vulture? Chu chi tio estas vulturo. Chuchitio estas vulturo. Now, oh my god, look how cute it is! <laughs> He's so cute! I'm gonna kill you! <laughs> I don't know why I did that, that's really mean. Okay, so I'm just gonna go this way now to hand in my quest. Oh my god, oh my god, oh no, now I've attacked everyone, they're all onto me. Okay, by the way, we've got these little prairie stalkers here. And we also have a cougar, so let's learn these words. Okay, so a prairie stalker, this dude just looks like a wolf to me. So do you remember how to say um, the worgen or the werewolves? They were homlupoi, or homlupo for a, a singular. Well, this guy's all over the shop. So, obviously then, the word for wolf is lupo. Now, the word for cougar is pumo, pumo. So how would you say, is a cougar an animal? Chu pumo estas besto. And how would you say, yes, a cougar is an animal? Yes, pumo estas besto. Now, I'm also going to teach you how to say object. And the reason being is just so that we can have like negative and positive sentences. So the word for object is objecto. And it's got a J again in it, which is like the Y sound. Um, just make sure you're, you're going to see the little subtitle up the top or down bottom, wherever I put it anyway. So how would you say, is a wolf an object? Chu lupo estas objecto. And how would you say no, a wolf is not an object? Ne lupo ne estas objecto. So let's just go up over here. Okay, now this little dude here, he looks like a. Whoop! Got some lag. Got some bad lag. See, this is the problem when you live in Australia, man. The world just lags for you. Okay, random cut. Okay, sorry about that. And we're back. Let's just continue on and pretend that never happened, shall we? So, we've learned how to say yes. It is yes. We've learned no. It is ne. So, let's start learning how to say the word but. Not like, you know, the one I'm sitting on right now, but as in, um, like... In a, a sentence, God, I'm digging my hole. I'll just use it in an example. So how would, well, not how, but 
So the way to say, um, uh, let me think of a sentence. Uh, uh, this is not an object, but a goblin. You'd say, Chitio ne estas objecto, sed koboldo. See? So it's like um, a conjunction, I think that's the word for it. Uh, sorry, my like technical linguistic words are very bad. Very bad. So yeah, how would you say, um, is this a dwarf? Or is that a dwarf, I should say, because it's there. Chu tio estas nano. And to say, yes, that is a dwarf. You'd say, yes, tio, estas nano. Now, I'm just going to get rid of this random nano who's attacking me for no reason. Oh, I've got one of the um, koboldoi on me as well. Or koboldo on me as well. I bleh, die. Die, you evil little beast. Okay, cool. So I'm just going to loot him. I'm going to steal his mono. Okay. So, what we're going to learn now is how to say... Um, like where okay so as in where is something located so this word for where is kie okay and in order to learn this in any like form basically we're gonna learn also the word um, before and behind so the word in front of or before is antal and the way to say behind is mal antal remember how I've already taught you the suffix um, mal it means opposite so, antal means in front of, mal antal means behind. So, let's find something. So, how would, well, the way to say where is the pine tree is kie estas la pino. Okay? And to say the pine tree is in front of me would say la pino estas antal mi. Now, obviously, if I turn around, it's no longer in front of me, it's behind me. So, I'd say la pino estas mal antal mi. Cool, we got that? Awesome. So, where, tell me how to say, where is the cougar? Kie estas la pulmo? Kie estas la pulmo? Yes, I got his random thigh as well. <laughs> By the way, do you remember what the word for thigh is? It is femuro, femuro. Okay, how would we say... Um, the wolf is in front of me. La lupo estas antal mi. La lupo estas antal mi. And how would we say the village is behind me? La villaggio estas malantal mi. La villaggio estas malantal mi. And how would we say the vulture is in front of me? La vulturo estas antal mi. La vulturo estas antal mi. Okay. And how would we say, is that a plane strider? Chu tio estas campo struto. Chu tio estas campo struto. Do you remember the word for the drumstick that we just picked off of it? It is femurajo. Okay. And we're going to learn the word for on and above now. So the word for on is sur. And the way I tell people to always remember that one, I should probably look what i got to do, um, is by thinking of surface, for instance. So surface starts with S-U-R. The word for on, sur, also starts with S-U-R. So nice and easy. And the word above is super. Super. Okay, S-U-P-E-R. And the reason I'm going to teach you this is because we're going to start talking about things being on the earth and above it when we actually see something. So, in order to know that, I have to teach you earth. And the word for earth is terro. Oh my god, it's a bunny rabbit, you're gonna die! <laughs> okay, so the word for earth is terro. So how would you say the cougar is on the earth? La pumo estas sur la terra. La pumo. La pumo esta sur la terra. I almost mispronounced that and said pumo, which is actually the lung, so that would have been a bit traumatic. I'll be like, oh my god, my lungs are on the ground. What's happened to me? Okay, so how would we say, where is the wolf? Kie estas la lupo? 
how would we say the plane strider is in front of me? La campostruto estas antal mi. And how would we say the wolf is behind me? La lupo estas malantal mi. Very good. Now I'm looking for a freaking vulture. I was hoping to see a vulture around here so I could use it in a sentence. But let's, uh, that's okay. We don't physically need to be seeing a vulture to use it in a sentence. So hang on. Am I meant to go over here and hand something in? Did I just walk past something? Okay, so the way to say the vulture is above the earth would say la vulturo esta super latero. And how would I say the wolf is behind me, the one that's randomly biting me now? La lupo estas malantal mi. Ah, there we go. There's a vulture. So how do we say the vulture is in front of me? La vulturo, ah, la vulturo estas antal mi. La vulturo estas antal mi. Sorry if I mispronounce things every now and then. Um, when I'm like physically trying to slow myself down when talking, sometimes I just like mispronounce stuff because I'm used to going bleh, and just puking everything out. So, how would we say um, the plane strider is on the ground? La campostruto esta sur la terra. Okay, awesome. I'm going to steal his stuff. Now, what we're going to learn, and this will probably be the last, like, actual sentence construction word I teach you for the day, because we're, we're reaching the end of our time, and it's going to be the word next to. So you see how this wolf is now next to this pine tree, and the word next to is a pud, a pud. So, just, just try and figure it out. Tell me how you, did, you would say the wolf is next to the pine tree. La lupo estas apud la pino. If you said that, you're friggin' awesome. Clap yourself on the back and go raid the fridge. You know, run out naked into the lounge room and go, I'm the best in the world. Whatever, yeah, you know. Okay, so we're just going to do a little bit of revision now. So what was the word next to? It was apud. What was the word above? It was super. What was the word on? It was sur. Um, what was the word for... Oh, did I pick up that quest? No, I didn't. Let's pick that up. There's two of them. Oh my god. Sorry, just randomly picking up quests. Okay, what was the word for uh, but? Not like that but, but but but. It was said. And how do you say um, is that thing blah blah blah? blah? Chu tio estas, and how do you say is this thing blah blah blah? blah? It is chu chi tio estas or chu tio chi estas, according to your preference. God, that was a direct translation out of Esperanto. That probably sounds really weird in English. But anyway, I've reached the end of this lesson now. Just before I cut this tape, um, tape. I'm really old school. Before I just cut this random lesson, I just want to um ask you guys a question. Now I'm thinking. Of just randomly, maybe this weekend or next weekend, depending on how much uh, interest I get, of like starting a once a week Skype um, like session with you guys. So basically, what it would be is you just we all just jump into a Skype session. We can practice some Esperanto. Uh, we can use uh, English or Esperanto um, to uh, ask questions about Esperanto or how to learn it, or even just have a random chat about games. I don't care. I was just thinking of just doing something. So if you're interested randomly scream out in the comments below so yeah that way i know it's it's a good thing it's going to go ahead okay so i've reached the end of my lesson if you've liked this give it a like keep sharing it with your friends you guys are freaking awesome so far so keep sharing it around and if you haven't subscribed already and this is the first time you're seeing this video subscribe there's going to be plenty more like it i plan to bring out a video every day and i will see you in the next video and if you're not there i will find you and i'll feed you to the vultures <laughs>